How's it going everybody? Wildman West here and welcome to another edition of Game Central Station. As much like the last few weeks, these games that we are playing are chosen by you, the viewers. And for this week, we have Extreme Ghostbusters for Game Boy Color. This game is based on the 1997 cartoon of the same name. It's pretty much a newer version of the, uh, the real Ghostbusters that came out in the 80s. In this cartoon, it's uh, Egon is taking care of four different uh, younger Ghostbusters, and pretty much the only other people that are around are Janine and Slimer. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I know I'm doing this game on an emulator moment right now, but the screen is so just jumbled right now. It's just, it's, uh -huh. That's weird, I have to shift through the options, password, and new game. Even though they've got them all three on the one side, I gotta do that. Okay! Looks like we're off to a really great start with this game. The audio, I mean, I, I barely have it up that loud. I mean, on the TV, but man. Oh. Okay, I know this is Game Boy, Game Boy Color or whatever. But they did not do justice to Janine on this one. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, I'm just like... I mean, even stretched out on a flat screen, this is just like... Oh, because I mean... No, I mean, I get it. You know, Game Boy uh, graphics is a hit or miss. I mean, I get it, but... Yeah, um... Game Boy has done a lot better in other games. <laughs> okay, so... I guess... If you can't run and gun, I'm literally having to push back while shooting fire. It's oh my god! I mean, oh. the controls on this—it's like reverse contra, and I don't like that. It looks like I got a trap. Much like the episode of Hook, where uh, Peter Pan was walking like he's strutting, his, his whole body is just full-on motion, rotating back and forth, and his head is just in one spot. I have a feeling I've got to go up on this platform, but... Okay, the jumping sucks already on this. <laughs> oh, okay. See, when it comes to games like this, like run and gun games, I like being able to move forward and shoot, not have to push back and shoot at the same time, because... See, in a moment like this, it's, you know, you got everybody coming at you at different angles. Okay, I'm not even gonna say what that looks like. The... Okay, I'm not liking the rhyme or reason with the... Okay, there we go. Ugh. 
only the camera would just stay put in one spot. Keep in mind, I'm on the first level still, folks. <laughs> okay, now that's just funny. I'm just going to go over the rooftops at this rate because Hey, okay, I'm back where I started again Not gonna lie, everybody, this game's really starting to piss me off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you literally. You know what the hell with those? I'm not even gonna try on them anymore. Can I jump on Can I jump on this? Let's see. Nope. Can't jump right now. Night. So do I check doors? See. Not gonna lie, this I don't know if, it, if it's supposed to be. If I'm trying to find a door or something. It's almost reminiscent of like Nightmare on Elm Street on Nintendo, where you gotta. I swear, if I have to go back into the firehouse, I'm. What the? <laughs> Would I? Okay, his gun's up in the air while he did. He's shooting it out of his mouth. <laughs> I can't get over that one. That's funny. Jesus. Like how how the hell am I supposed to figure out this letter? Now we're where was he earlier? I actually say this is one of the worst games I've ever played. I guess I'm just going to have to do a leap of faith over to the other side and see what happens. Wow, who would have thunk that would have worked? successful. <laughs> okay, now what I said about Janine earlier helped me to do her justice. <laughs> Egon just looks depressed. He just, he looks like something's... And why is his right shoulder, like, wider than his left one? I, I, uh, I, I don't, I... I can't anymore. I can just... I can't even sh I can't even shoot at a diagonal on moments like that. And that's like, that's like, you know, when the enemy gets an unfair advantage on you. I don't trust this thing. Okay, 
I can't get over that that squat walk. How was I not hitting any of them with that? Is beyond me. Like literally, I mean obviously it takes a number of hits, but still, it's like... Uh. And even trying to do the old Castlevania method of going up stairs is even ridiculous. Ah, oh, boy. Nope, back where I started. I'm supposed to go down here, but now where do I go? Oh, let me guess. Chances are they told me in the uh, in those little side uh, stories of what you know, Egon being all depressed. They probably tell you exactly what you need to get. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Maybe if I can angle it. Oh, that was the proton pack meter going up and down, so I have nothing left. Maybe that's what I need, though. Nope. I have no, I have no proton pack left. There's no enemies. Somehow I feel this was a broken game to begin with. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Really? You jump on the... Oh. Well, you... How would you know what to do on that one if with the controls being as shitty as they are? I could climb up there before. Okay, dude. It's either I can just climb up there or jump. Make up your mind. Basically, that's it. And you start from the beginning. Okay, you know what, folks? Um, yeah. That's no bueno. I'm, I am not going to be letting you deal with that anymore. I'm sorry on that one, but hey, it is what it is. And at least we, you know, we survived it. Uh, one of these games that has broken controls and everything, it's just... I give this one definitely an F in the book. I, I, I rarely ever give a lot of games Fs, but this one was pretty atrocious. But we hope you enjoyed this video of watching me just completely just dissect this as best as I could and you know and look like an idiot in the process. But make sure that you give it a thumbs up, share it on social media, and as always, push the red button and don't forget to ring that bell for instant notifications on Dragon Fire Entertainment. Also, as the last couple weeks, we're going to be doing another voting session for five games. I know a lot of people haven't voted on them that much because a lot of these games are completely different. They were chosen at random. However, this week, we do have some games some of you might be familiar with. All right, so the games that we have are Contra from the Konami Arcade, Spy Hunter from Midway Arcade, Cyberlift from Neo Geo, Blues Brothers on Game Boy, Flying Warriors on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So pretty much you have until the end of this coming Sunday to cast in your vote, whether on 
you know, YouTube here and leaving a comment in the section below. And then also on, uh, I usually post on Facebook. So if you know me on Facebook, go ahead and shoot a little vote in there and we'll make sure we put it in, you know, the tally marks for you. Until then, I'm Wildman West and we will see you next time. Take care and stay healthy.